Hello, hello, welcome to my channel and to today's video where I am going to tell you what my favorite products and not so favorite products were that I tried in the month of May or a few months before that, but mostly, yeah, mostly the stuff I got in May. So if you're interested to know what I would recommend and I would not recommend to you, stay clear away from, then please keep on watching. Before I jump into the video, if you're new here, hi, welcome. My name is Anne Chris. I'm 37 and I love to try out new makeup products, especially from indie brands and the mid to higher end products. I love to play with color as you can see, but I always try to keep it more wearable and elegant. I also think it's really important to actually get use out of the makeup you already have. So I make a lot of videos on that as well. So if you like that, and if you think that is something for you, then please subscribe because I think we are like kindred spirits. Today is going to be a video where I'm going to tell you which products I would really recommend and which products I think you should stay clear from. I'm going to start off with my favorites and then I'm going to go into some products I liked but I don't think are like my favorites. And then I have a few fills, not a lot, not a lot, but I have a few fills. I'm going to start off with skincare. I have this micellar water from Garnier. This is an oldie but a goodie. I have been using this product for, I think, over a year to almost two years now. This product I use after I do my like oil cleanse or the deep cleanse. This is like a product I use to get the last, last like, tidbits of makeup that still remain on my skin, I use this. This is, I think, not strong enough to get like your full face of makeup off or if you are um, like wearing any makeup, I think you should just use an oil cleanse or use a matte cleanse or whatever you use that is a little bit more effective and then just, you know, use this after that. Or if you haven't been using makeup or haven't been wearing makeup, but you are wearing SPF or you just want to clean your skin before you go to bed, then this is enough. Just this product is more than enough. Then something else in the skin category, I have been using this Lancaster Sun Beauty Sublime 10 Velvet Cream with 30 SPF high protection. Wow, in one go, I'm proud. This is something I've just recently started using, but I must say I already love it. It protects my skin, it sinks into the skin very nicely. It also hydrates my skin a little bit. It's not like really that SPF type of feel. It doesn't smell very SPF-y as well. It's more like a skincare smell, but it does protect my skin and my makeup looks good over this. It doesn't break up my makeup quicker. I really love this. It's just the first one I've ever tried or like, you know, like a full size. I also have the Ritual ones. I like that one, but I think there's a little bit more perfume in here. And this is just more like a skincare type of scent. So I really, really enjoy this Lancaster uh, Sublime 10, 30 SPF. SPF. And I think it's really important, especially in the summer. Then for makeup, I have a product that has become a very quick swift favorite. This is the eye primer, uh, eye primer, <laughs> eye primer from Anastasia Beverly Hills. This is a mini size because I just wanted to try it out, you know. Why not? And I also hear that you don't have or you don't need a lot um, or hair heard, heard. You don't. You really don't need a lot. As you can see at the tip, it's like it's not white per se. It's just a very light, light, light beige color. You see what I mean? It's not white, white. It's like a beige color. And I really enjoy this. It's not as drying as the MAC uh, Paint Puff because I really think that product is so drying and I wanted to use something else. Also, I think that the colors in the paint pot, like the soft ochre and the paint lee, they are just a tad bit too pigmented. I really like the fact that this is so light so you can, when you play with colorful makeup like I do, because I really like to play with colors, keeping it wearable, of course, but if you have something like this that is so light, then, the colors actually show up. You don't really have to set this product because it does have like, it dries down very well, but it has a teensy, teensy bit of a grip. So if you don't like that, then you must set it. I think you can blend your shadows over it. Today I used it without setting it. And as you can see, it did blend out. It just took me a little bit longer, just that bit longer, but it also 
also grabbed onto the eyeshadow and especially when you're wearing colorful eyeshadows that is a very nice i'm planning to buy the full size once this uh, runs out but i think i think it will be good for a few uh, more months because this is quite big seeing how little you need i yeah, highly highly recommend and just start with the mini that's you know the joy of the minis then I have the Samantha Martin Ofra collab and I knew this was going to be a favorite because I really like the tones. I must say I've really put these through the ringer. It's not like I love Sam. You know, I love Samantha. I do like Ofra, but I didn't, I haven't tried a lot of them. I think I have just like one or two highlighters from them. So I didn't try the brand that much. I really adore Samantha, but I really wanted to get like a firm opinion on these without taking into account that this is the Samantha Martin Overclap. But I didn't have to. These products are stunning. This is the blush. This is the um, chiclet blush. You have a shimmer side and a matte side. The bronzer. This is the river bronzer. You also have the shiny side and you have the matte side. And then you have the... Start inspired highlight. So this is really an Ofra highlight. So this is a high light, very beaming, glowing to the high heavens highlight. That the that's the thing. I don't mind that. I think you can blend this out to be less like. Phew, I'm wearing it today, and as you can see, it's not it's not overwhelming because I buffed it out very well. If you just put this on and you love like that highway of highlight, then by all means buy this because it's stunning. The colors are stunning. It If you're very fair, this is going to work. If you are hmm, slightly darker, like medium skin tone, it could maybe look a little bit more like um, ashy on you. I wouldn't know for sure because yeah, I'm just like light skinned. I'm not fair, I'm light skinned. But if you're like me, then it's fine. You know, you can blend it out and it looks really nice. You don't have the uh, white cast or gray cast or anything like that. So this is really, really enjoyable. What I must say with all three of them, they are very pigmented and very there. Like they show up to the party. So what I do, I just go in and as you can see, it's not like I went in with a very light hand. I just go in. Put it all on my face, loving the colors, but then I buff it out. I use like a soft brush like this and I use like my, you can use any finishing powder you like. I have the candlelight from Laura Mercier and I have the meteorite pearls from Guerlain and I just buff it in and it looks stunning. I think it looks so beautiful. So these, I put them through the ringer. And they are pigmented, so keep that in mind. But these are these are products I really want to reach for every time I do my makeup. So that is saying something because I have a lot. I have a lot of bronzers, a lot of blushes, and a lot of highlighters, and I always reach for these. Then also a highlighter um, that I really love that is a totally different finish, and I think both have their place in my collection. This is the Highlighter from Linda Halberg. It's the Infinity Highlighter. Linda Halberg, I must say. Um, and this is totally opposite to the Ofra um, Star Inspired Highlight. Because this is, it looks very dark, but it isn't. It really isn't. I could swatch it, but I swatched it in another video. You really can't see it. But what this does, this gives you that wet glow from within look. It is stunning. And you wouldn't say if you just look at it like this. But this product gives you the most beautiful, beautiful glow from within. Really that wet look. It doesn't emphasize your texture at all. This is stunning. I think it is because it is a teensy bit creamy. I think you can see it. It's not like you don't feel the cream. Yeah, I can't really show you. It's like it's there, but you, you know. So it... It really just blends into your skin and it gives you such a stunning effect. So this is something I love for every day. And if you are someone that is not on YouTube and doesn't want to have that beaming highlight, but want to have that effect of that glow, this is a stunning, stunning product. So I would highly, highly recommend. This is a product I don't think you see a lot. This is a Colorster blush. It is in the shade 8 Henne. Henne? And then, I don't know. It's in the shade 8. Maybe that's easier. Uh, it's the Silk Effect Maxi Blusher. And as you can see, it's quite big. 
And it's quite dark as well. But what this does, I think you can show, I can show you. You see? It's quite dark, but what this does, you have to use a very light hand. But what I love to do is when I don't feel like putting on a base, I just put this on my cheeks and it looks really nice. It's like a bronzer and a blush in one. And it gives you that dimension and this bit of a silky glow without like having to wear a base. And I think that is really nice if you're at home, you're working from home, but you do have some Zoom calls from, from uh, work or MS Teams calls, you have meetings, like having to talk uh, on your laptop or through uh, a camera. This is a very nice product. I will try to link it down below because I just picked this up on a whim. It was on sale in this one of these drugstores uh, in Holland. And yeah, I really enjoy it. And you never hear anything from Colorster. I don't know why, because I really enjoy the product. But yeah, this is really something I want to mention because you don't hear a lot about this brand. Then I have two eyeshadow palettes that have risen to the top of my favorite list. And that is the Nabla Wildberry Cutie palette. I got two, the other one is in here as well, but this is my favorite. This is the one I keep reaching for if I want to do my makeup and I feel like, you know, like making something fun, doing something colorful, then I always reach for this. I really love the shades. The only thing I don't really think is that nice is the incense shade. This is a latex matte and they tend to dry out very quickly and that is very annoying. But the shade and the tone of that incense shade it's so pretty. It is so nice. So yeah, this is one that I really love and I think you can make some, you know, you can keep it very neutral with just this and maybe this one and then just chuck this one on or chuck this one on, but you also can make a very sultry berry look and I really, really enjoy this. The quality is outstanding. I made a video about this one together with the other one I'm going to show you in a bit. I'm going to link it up there. Um, I think I used everything of every product, almost every product I use. I will link the videos either up there or down in the description box so you can see me using them. Another very big favorite, very big favorite is the Corderosa palette from Sigma. I have, since I got this, I have every day I think, oh, maybe I can use my Corderosa palette today. No, you have so many other palettes, just use something else. But I am in love with the color story. I am in love with the quality. I think I've used every shade by now. Yep, I've used every shade by now and they are all stunning. They blend out very nice. They are very pigmented. And I think that the fact that you have these pinks, but you also have these like lighter tones, the peachy tones, but also more of the brown terracotta type of tones, you can get some different looks out of this, even though it doesn't really look like that. But it's really, I have made a look with these pinks and I've made a look with the, like, these uh, peaches and I've made a look with the more terracotta, the more orangey colors, and it's totally different from another. But you can combine them as well. So this is such a fun palette. I did a get ready with me video using this one. I will link that, uh, link that one up there as well. And um, yeah, I must say I really, really, oh no, I don't think I used Campfire. This is the only one I haven't used yet, but the rest I have used and I really liked it. The only thing what happened, I think, is that High Society, this one, developed a little bit of a hard pen. Do you see the sheen? That was the only thing I was like, mm. but I could make it work. I could make it work, but I wanted to say that. But other than that, this is really a very big favorite of mine because it's just, I think it's just my color story I gravitate towards. It's so easy, but it's also colorful. It's also fun. So yeah, this is a very, very big recommend. And I saw that they are Sigma always has sales on their website. If you're ordering from their website, you can always get this on sale. So please, please look out for a sale because it's just wasteful to pay full price if you don't have to. Okay, these were my favorites. So I'm going to go into some honorable mentions. I also got this Sigma eyeshadow primer. This is in the shade Persuade, I think. Yep, this is the shade Persuade and this is like a, a very pinky, pinky color. I really enjoy the formula, I've blended it out a little bit, but as you can see, it shows up quite pink on your eyes. And that is the only thing I was like, okay, then you really have to think 
of uh, what you're going to put underneath and that is something different with the Anastasia one that doesn't matter it's very light so everything will go over that but if you use this I think you should either make it more smoky or stay in that like pinky lane if you want to layer up uh, layer over some eyeshadows I do like the formula it's very it's not too drying because it has enough emollient in there but it doesn't um, it's not not extremely tacky it does set it does set almost fully what i've also done with this with which i really liked is just use this as a like an eyeshadow then put some brown eye pencil over and then some mascara and then a little bit of those um uh, scattered lights pots from hourglass i just put them put a little bit of the uh, which one did i put on oh the aura one the more pinky one and you have a lovely very quick out of the door eye look which looks very nice i have really enjoyed this product because it's so diverse it's just that i think that the color is very you have to think about it so that's why it's not in my favorites i also bought the ignite one it's on its way to me so i'm very curious to see how that is looking because that is like more of a lighter more of a caramel type of color than uh, this one then the second honorable mention of this month is this mascara it's the lash brag mascara from anastasia beverly hills it's their new one it's in the black color and it's a mini and i must say it has all the ingredients for me to be a very good mascara the wand is like an hourglass shape the as you can see it's not too clogged up with product it's it's okay it's not too much um, it does coat your lashes very well. The only thing, the only reason why it's in my honorable mention and not in my fills is because it doesn't keep my eyelids up. I curl, curl my eyelids with an eyelash curler and um, then for I think around 60 seconds. So that's long. And then if I put my Monsieur Big uh, from Lancome mascara on, they stay up all day. But with this one sorry to say they droop down a little bit not too much but they droop down a little bit so that's why it's not my favorite it's an honorable mention then the twin <laughs> to the nabla cutie palette this is the metropolitan one the other was the wild berry the, in this range you also have the um, uh there was a third one what's it called i don't platinum platinum that was very neutral and i have a lot of neutral shades already so i didn't go for that one um, but this one I really enjoy as well and this the, in this one you don't have that latex matte so that is something I really like it's just that the color story is a bit mwah. I'm using it today as you may recognize I have used nothing personal in the crease and in the outer corner then uh, the Anamalia Anamalia very weird name uh, on the outer part of my lid and then the rest is the Alaska shade I really enjoy this one it's just that the color story is not really drawing me in I think because it's I don't know it's a bit too over the place I really love this nothing personal shade but it's just I have to really work to make this a look that I'm like yes this is great and the wild berry palette does that for me this one not so much i like this look i think it's fun it's just not my favorite that's all it's nothing to do with the quality it's nothing to do with um like how the, the colors blend or how the shimmers are performing it's just that the color story is i don't know okay then i've reached my fills i only have two this month this is the catrice prime and fine poreless blur primer uh, it's called goodbye pores didn't like this this is very smelly it smells a bit like paint very chemically i don't know i don't really like it and it doesn't really blur my pores and it made my t-zone i only use it here like in the t-zone you know the t i only used it there and it just you know it made my skin more greasy it broke down my makeup i don't know so the smell and the fact that it doesn't really blur the pores it's an am um, no i'm sorry this doesn't work for me. I know a lot of people are big fans of Catrice, but sauce, not me. And then the next one and the last one is a mini, and maybe you recognize this. It's a NARS blush. Can you say it with me? It's the orgasm. Don't like this. I don't know why this is such a favorite of everyone. I don't get it. Okay, I'm going to really 
go in, like really go in, swatch it on my hand and then I can show you. This is a very heavy swatch and as you can see it has that sheen, that golden sheen, there's a golden like sparkle, glow type of deal in there and if the thing is I don't like that sheen because I, maybe you can see it but if you look straight at it it's okay you can see some pigmentation but if you turn the pigmentation is gone. Where did my blush go? That's why I don't like this. This is not something I am a very big fan of. So this is in my fills. I'm going to give it away to a colleague or to a friend. I don't know. But this is going to go bye bye. Okay guys, that was it for this favorites and fills of this month of my monthly recap more like. If you have any product you are like, oh, I have more questions or this is my favorite as well, leave me a comment down below. I would love to hear from you. If you like this video, then please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't already and hit the notification bell. And I hope I will see you in my next one. Bye.